Welcome to the very first episode of Houston, We Have a Problem. I'm your novice host, Houston Wade. This podcast is devoted to defining problems that plague humanity, markets, and the planet, and seeks to solve these problems by suggesting novel solutions. I'm offering my apologies to any future listeners who are outside the United States. Sometimes the problems I identify may be quite ethnocentric, but due to the United States' unique position as a global superpower, what happens here often has ripple effects across the globe. The United States government is in rapid decline. As the entrenched status quo desperately clings to the past and is often outperformed by emerging economies, economic disparity rules the nation. And as multiple crises begin to plague the economy, people, and the environment, we need to look at how to reduce harm and improve lives. Radical change to adapt to evolving conditions are paramount to reverse this decline and ensure continued success of not just America, but the world and democracy as a whole. The best bellwether as to the true greatness of an empire is the condition of its citizens, and this can be measured in several ways, among which include poverty rates, homelessness, income levels, per capita net worth, and any disparity in between any of these ratios. Anyone with eyes can see that homelessness is at levels not seen in recent memory. And to improve America, we must first bring people out of poverty. We need to treat chronic disease and addiction and make room for a meritocracy so that the best and brightest among us have the opportunity to shine rather than so many be doomed to a life of struggle due to systemic policies that keep so many in abject poverty. If one is going to ignore the ongoing environmental degradation that will destroy our species and most life on Earth, then I don't really have time for you. You are basically a non-entity with regards to this podcast and not worthy of my thought or discussion. For the rest of you, interested in pushing back against the effects of anthropogenic climate change, we have solutions. And many of these solutions can be found in exploiting the infinite resources of outer space. I will get into this more in later episodes, but we do have the ability to produce limitless energy that is far less cumbersome than solar or wind power. And this new age is but a few years away. But it comes with its own astounding problems that will uproot entire markets and potentially create new oligarchies that could last thousands of years. Now, The fundamental question we must ask ourselves is this. Did humans create society to make everyone's lives better? Or did we create society to drive revenue and maximize profit? I, for one, subscribe to the former. That isn't to say that humans don't have a capitalistic or competitive drive, but those pursuits should not come at the expense of large swaths of society. If our housing and healthcare markets create intractable numbers of homeless, then we have a moral obligation to obliterate the status quo and replace it with new markets that seek to ensure people are housed and cared for. We are a society after all. This concept of creating society to make lives better extends to civil rights as well. So much of what frames the denial of rights to minorities and malign groups is a fear that if those people have the same rights I do, then I will be losing. We need to strike that concept from people's minds. And the easiest way to do this is to give everyone the kind of safety net such that there are no losers in our society. To be great, we must do great things. And great accomplishments come from risk. It is very easy to take risks if one has a support system and safety net that can catch them when they inevitably fail. As a result of this dynamic, the most successful entrepreneurs come from wealthy families because they can afford to take these risks while others spend their talents merely surviving. If we as a society create systems and institutions in place to reduce risk for those not born to privilege, then we can see all of our population grow in in wealth and health and standard of living. Economic disadvantage begets economic disadvantage, and economic advantage begets economic advantage. Let us remove the disadvantages and give everyone an advantage. Now, some of you may immediately criticize my optimism for how we can improve our conditions and opportunities as some sort of pie-in-the-sky naivety or utopian ideals that could never be realized. But I think much of that criticism comes from not looking at what, what has worked elsewhere and seeing how we as Americans can adopt these policies and regulations into our society to see immediate and lasting improvements. Plus, One of my skills is that I will crunch the numbers and show how we will all fiscally benefit by adopting such seemingly radical change. Now that you have an idea of what to expect from each episode, let's get to today's topic, Wall Street fuckery.